What's going on? It's your boy Fred X. And today, I got a special treat for all you angling sons of bitches out there. Now, I hope you guys had a good catfish season. I know I did. And here's the reason why. I used my recipe for the ultimate catfish bait. If you'd like to take a look at that video, go ahead and click the link right above and you guys can see why I think it's the ultimate catfish bait. But there's a couple of things that I wanted to improve on and that's why we're here right now at this very moment. Bruh. Today, I have a very special treat and what that treat is, this is the ultimate catfish bait 2.0. Let's get started. With a recipe like this, you're gonna need some primo ingredients. Let me uh, look at my tackle box here and see what we got. T -t Today, Junior! Oh, nice. We have some uh, incredibly old chicken breast. Thank you, Freezer. Ah, uh, yes, strawberry jello. One, one more. Ah. Uh. Ah, Kool-Aid. This right here is the catfish crack. Let's get going on this recipe. First things first, you want to cut your chicken pieces up into bite-sized chunks that the catfish are going to love to snack on. I got to tell you, this is some stinky chicken been sitting in the freezer since the day I moved into my apartment. That was about four months ago. Now I'm telling you, this step is really crucial. You got to have some really stinky chicken. I'm telling you the rankest chicken you could ever think of. Honestly, I've used fresh chicken. It doesn't catch as much catfish as old stanky chicken does i'm telling you right now you need to use old chicken if you have some chicken back in the freezer that's expired use that if you got some chicken in the fridge that's way past its due date use that i'm telling you right now these cats love stinky 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 meat toss your meat into the vessel of your choice right here i got a big ass bowl what we're gonna do add some olive oil just a splash. What the olive oil is gonna do is gonna carry this garlic flavor that we want. Cause what do catfish love? They love garlic. Man, woo wee! Next thing up, garlic powder. We want garlic powder. that chicken to be completely coated in garlic. Next item on the list. Now this is crucial. Anglers swear by this. Fresh chicken liver juice. I need the juice. I don't need the chicken livers. You like the juice, eh? <laughs> you can also use this as bait itself. This is really good bait. When you're in a pinch, just go to the grocery store, grab yourself a dollar pack of chicken livers and you got instant catfish bait. But we're just gonna use the juice. We just need the juice right right now. You like it, the juice, eh? <laughs> All we're gonna use is the juice. We just need the juice right now. We like, like the juice. Juice, yeah. Yeah. juice is the good. Juice is very good. I'm gonna throw a couple in there just for, for good measure. What's next? We're gonna use one whole packet of strawberry jello. What's next after that? We're gonna use one whole packet of Kool-Aid. This one is Tropical Punch. Doesn't matter the flavor. You can use any kind. and give that a big stir. Now 
Now this right here, my friends. Oh wait. This right here is what we call catfish candy. This is catfish crack right, right here. See that chicken right there? I got this from the 99 cent store. A cheap vessel and I know it's gonna be airtight. So your fridge ain't gonna be stinking. You wanna keep this in the fridge for a minimum of two to three days before you use it. Now, the catfish bait is gonna have a different consistency. It's gonna be a little harder and it's gonna have some body to it. So when you put it on the hook, it's gonna stay on the hook. It's not gonna fall off, it's not gonna fly off. That's the problem I had with the first bait. I didn't let it marinate for long enough before I actually used it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top it off with a little more garlic just so it's extra stinky. You're gonna seal this up, leave it in the fridge, like I said, for about two to three days. Come back, you got yourself some ultimate catfish bait 2.0. Man, woo -wee! After you've completed the catfish bait, you put it in the fridge. Like I stated before, go ahead and leave it in there for a minimum of two to three days. Any time within that window would be perfect for you to start fishing with after. Now this catfish bait is guaranteed to catch you catfish by the dozens. There's a reason why it's called catfish candy. I've been using it for years now and I swear by it. The combination of the Jello and the Kool-Aid is gonna make it extra pungent. That garlic is gonna give it a nice kick because those cats love stinky, stinky food. Man, woo -wee! So once again, guys, this is Fred X. Go ahead and uh, consider subscribing, like the video. Please tell me in the comments below how many catfish you caught, whether it's on the lake, on the river, or the local pond. Tell me if this catfish bait worked for you. This is Fred X signing off. Thank you for watching the ultimate catfish bait 2.0.